that, that first attack's ready to commence. And they give you a lot of leeway with these uh, zones of control and the fact that you don't have to attack a unit that's next to you. Um, I'm thinking about the first attack going to be the uh, 18th uh, Air Assault Unit or Air Assault Division going to go ahead and attack from the rear this unit here. They won't suffer no uh, river losses. Meanwhile, these units and these units are going to go across the river and attack this unit here, which will have bomber support. So, uh, we'll see what's up now. I'm thinking, is this bomber support required to support this guy's attack? It might be, it might be that it has to happen. We'll see here. Uh, let me look underneath the rules, and if that's the case, maybe I'll put the bomber support here. Yeah, this is bomber support. We're well, holding off on this. It's the combat phase still, but we want to look at a roll here real quick to make sure we can do what we want to do. All right. Get these guys down here. All right, he'll stay here. We have to find out a way to do our bomber. Look at some clarifications. We'll be back. All right, then. Well, this bomber has to support their attack. So the way I'm going to do these attacks is the uh, 18th uh, Airborne Army will go against these guys down here. It'll be a blow-away attack, but uh, i got to use a bomber. And uh, go give them some column shifts. Meanwhile, this group, this stack, and this stack will go against this unit. We'll see how things go. This might be a one-to-one -one attack high in the river. We gotta get across the river. It's gonna be the first obstacle. But that's what we're looking at. We'll be back with the combat. All right. First things first is to use our bombers. We'll roll to see what their effectiveness was. It says here to grab a D6. Oh, let's see here. And we're looking for a two to three. Huh. Five players, one D6 for each attack. Zero the heavy bombers. One, there's no effect. Two and three, the ally or the ally player. That number of right shifts for that combat. So I guess a zero, one, two, three is what we're looking for. Four, five, and six don't do nothing. Let me check this out. Be right back. All right, then. The key word here is rolling a D6. And then having those out so we'll have to have half what the result is that's what you can do with the rest of the numbers a one so that's no good so it'll be a heavy bombers drop their bomb short of the target i.e on friendly units any attacker automatically suffers all but one result ouch not good bad news to start the evasion off <laughs> fucking bomb their own fucking put all right We'll find out what the results are if you're right back. All right, here you go. The tacky player. <laughs> Let's eliminate one step. What a bite in the ass. You freaking bombers. Get out of here. Hold on. Get out of here. All right. Fix this all up from my Hitlerite rage. Going into a tizzy. All right, hold on. Did some damage here, did some damage. More gaming faux pas. Oops, we even doing more damage. Alright. Let's get everybody over in line here. We commence with this attack. The company's are already laughing at us. Bound our own fucking units. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let me look at a combat procedure. Looks like it's going to be a uh, two to one. We'll be back. All right, we're here for this first attack, and first thing you got to do is check out the supply status. And these boys here might be out of supply. You know, so you can trace supply through here, this negates the zone of control. But if you want to get supply through here, I got a zone of control. So we'll have to look and see. These guys are out of supply. we got to find out what the effect of that is on the combat. All right, Soviet units. Units. And that is under out of the supply effects. Soviet units, uh, artillery, what happens when you attack and when you defend, you have your combat strength hacked. So we'll be attacking against a six. So that will definitely push us back up to a four to one. We'll be back. All right, then ready for the first attack. And here's what's happened so far for the allies. 
five in our own unit, but fortunately, and these units here are going to be out of supply too, or this one here will be anyway, and this is our main attack, so that's going to be a good deal for our next attack, but we're looking at a four to one attack right now, it's in clear terrain, we will not be using this at day, we get a five on a four to one, oh, what do we have here, any good, any good charts here, do I got to go up on the board? Alright, good result to defend a retreat, and he can't retreat anywhere. He'd create an overstack here, and he has to retreat one hex towards him, towards this way anyway, towards the supply source. So that would be an elimination of the Soviet units. That is definitely a good result. We're looking for uh, our next combat, which will involve these two hexes going against this hex. Alright, well these units are done with, they won't be put in the game again. Uh, another thing that we want to maybe mention is these units here are the only reinforcements they got. And uh, uh, the Soviet reinforcement pool consists of all the cores that were historically in the Soviet High Command Stav Stavka Reserve. So this is Stavka Reserve units. High command state cover reserve units. These guys are out of the game. And uh, we'll be back with our next combat. All right, next attack. Going across the river against the Soviet armored division, I guess. And a mechanized division. Huh. Guards unit, maybe? There we go. There's 16. Now, I mentioned before. Ah. Uh, we have to come back. Be right back. I was going to mention that we thought that these guys would be out of supply, but they can trace their supply line up to here and out this way. They're circumventing this unit's zone of control, so they're full strength. 16. Uh, these guys might be half going across the river. We're going to look at the odds. We'll be right back. All right, after everything's said and done, we got a one to one attack going across the river. These guys are halved. So, uh, rolling under the one to one table. Five. Fives again. Huh. Alright, I'll look on the combat results table. I took a picture of it. <laughs> Not in a good spot. We'll be right back. Alright, the results are attacker loses one step. So a five was not a good roll. You want to roll low on these attacks. So there you go, way to flip one over. And it is definitely a stall on our attack. We didn't want that to happen. And the rest of these I'll have to look over because Hmm. There'll be one to ones also. I'll have to look on a table and see if it's going to be worth it. Yeah, that's the only attack we got going on down there that went through. I'll have to wait till next turn. Can't believe he got nailed. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to attack no more. We'll have to see what's up. We got to move some units around. Uh, combat. Then we'll get our movement phase. We look up here, see what else is going on. We have bogged. Bad way to start. Next attack. Looks like these two units, these two stacks here, are going to go across the river. Gets this stack. These are mechanized. Hopefully, we get some better odds. Let's see who they are. All right, there was always a bloodbath, and uh, I defender had to eliminate one unit. Now I have the option of eliminating another step, and if I do. He can either eliminate a step or retreat his unit. If he retreats, I get to advance. We're working on that right now. All right, further procedures I took was to take another step loss. He had the option of taking another step loss or retreating. He retreated one hex. That'll be the end of that combat. We have crossed the river. We have taken a couple casualties. Looking around here, I think these might be holding actions. We'll look at the rest of the combat, but here's what happened after the first round of combat. We'll be back. Alright, we're looking down here. Uh, we did the combat, allied movement or combat. We get another chance to do some combats. So that would be really nice. I think in my next turn I'm going to use it as a combat phase again. Instead of movement. So it'll be all combats coming up. I don't think there's going to be any more combats. I think we're going to have to go with 
check out our first Airborne Army Corps. I know who those units are. Like I said, ain't no way I'm going across the river. Theater of operations right here. Oh, I wonder if you could use that bomber again. Huh. That'd be interesting. We'll find that out. All right. Here we are. Come back with our next combat. All right. Attacking player cannot attack more than one hex in each combat. So therefore, this is what we're looking at. And we hit the jackpot. Then we're all artillery units. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. Still got the flu. But anyway. All right. We're going to clean up here. Look at under a 16 to 1 attack. Be right back. Under the maximum. 6 to 1 cable. We need a new die. Something. Rose low. Ooh, 5. Look at this chart. We'll be right back. Alright then. Another one bites the dust. Oops. This is a, this is going to be a tough battlefield here. Alright, here we go. Results so far. And, oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me get back here like this. See if I can advance after combat. Try to get everybody straightened up here. Let's just see. Oh. All right. So we want to advance after combat. Be right back. All right. Says so yeah, I have the option of going in, but I'm not. I'm gonna hang up up there. Uh, we are going to come on up the front and see where some more attacks will be. Be right back. All right. Well, some of you might be wondering. And it, the, the Soviet player does have the option of using the rest of this artillery to support the shooter in defense. The only caveat is there has to be a, a regular unit, an infantry or army unit participating, I guess, to call in the artillery. So that didn't come into effect here. This unit is still eliminated. But just wanted to make note of that because I was thinking about, about that when I attacked him and I've already looked up that rule. So there has to be a... Uh, one of these regular units attacking for the artillery to support them. They just can't support a unit that's fighting by itself. All right, so that'll be it. We're moving on to the next attack here. And it'll be this key attack right here. We'll take that one first. And another thing is, oh, these units here got a river on this side and on this side. <laughs> what a spot that was. I should have I uh, beefed that up even better. We'll be back.